Welcome to another edition of Game Pro TV. Later in the show, we'll raid the shopping malls to find out which game system will be nestled under your tree this Christmas. You'll meet the Pro Stars EA Sports called upon for the making of NBA Live 97 and tell you what we think of NHL 97. That's all coming up. But first, rules and regulations. This is how our review system works. Each game that we review is judged and rated in four categories. Graphics, in which we focus on the look and feel of the game. Control, in which we tell you how easy or how difficult it is to perform the game character's actions. Sound, in which we tell you if the audio action keeps up with the visual. And Fun Factor, where we sum up the entire game and tell you, quite frankly, if it's enjoyable or not. Each category of the game receives a rating that can go from 1.0 to 5.0, one being absolutely horrible and five being absolutely awesome. The actual ratings will appear at the end of the review, where we'll sum up the whole thing. Ah, the holiday season. Trees decorated, people shopping, playful creatures dancing with cheer. This is the time of year when we remember that it's better to give than to receive. But if your goal is to give somebody a Nintendo 64, you may be out of luck. We sold more than what actually we had available, and then Nintendo was not able to supply the demand. You know, considering the fact that they're selling to Japan and other countries, plus the United States. You would just basically have to try and shop around. It's kind of like the Cabbage Patch Kids of 96. Um, you'd be very, very fortunate to get one by Christmas. Well, that's bad news for those hoping that Santa will bring the perfect gift. And even worse news for all of Santa's helpers. Mom's not trying to buy it. Santa's trying to buy it. <laughs> and Santa's been looking everywhere and having a very hard time. I, I would like any of them. I don't, I don't really care, but... I'd really want to get Nintendo 64, but if I got these, I wouldn't care. Mind. The demand for the 64 is so enormous, retailers are comparing the system to the Cabbage Patch dolls in terms of sales. These innocent little dolls caused a craze in 1983, when three million flew off the shelves in six months, scooping in $64 million in sales. But the Nintendo Super Machine is set to outpace those numbers. By Christmas, over 1.5 million units will have been sold since the September 29th launch and total sales will exceed $300 million. People have requested on a daily basis, we may get anywhere from 30 to 40 people requesting it on a daily basis. While most consumers are having a hard time finding the Nintendo 64 in stock, sales for the Sony PlayStation and the Sega Saturn have gone up. I think Nintendo has affected the market substantially. Um, they've created a big hype for the system you know, that's out right now. It's just a shame that we don't have the systems in stock. But because of that, it's drove customers into our stores looking for the systems where, you know, they got to know about the Sony PlayStation, the Saturn, and also we're taking prepays from the Nintendo, so when we do get them in stock, you know, they will go to the customers. Well, I guess I think with something like this, if this is the specific, the specific game that they really want, then uh, Santa will wait till after Christmas and maybe give them a rain check or something, and he'll drop it off later. One of the hottest selling games of the year, let alone the holiday season, will be Tomb Raider by Eidos Interactive. We'll show you why in our Game Pro review. The video game world has been dominated by happy plumbers, flying elves, and crashing bandicoots lately. Cool games, but not very mature. Meet Laura Croft, that star of Eidos Interactive's eagerly anticipated Tomb Raider. Don't let her good looks fool you. She may be the toughest, most resourceful adventurer to ever run, jump, shoot, or backflip across your TV screen. The story of Tomb Raider is set up at the beginning of the game, when Laura is hired by a woman named Jacqueline Natala to recover an ancient artifact of considerable power. There's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapak. That's my interest. From there, the adventure begins spanning across 15 different levels with diverse geographical environments and only vicious creatures, including dinosaurs. But none of them are a match for the two-gun toting Laura, who's got more moves than Barry Sanders in the open field. Her character contains over 2,000 frames of animation, making her movements the smoothest of any game this side of Super Mario 64. The designers at Eidos knew that getting used to controlling Laura would take some practice, so they provided an extra level set aside to do just that. Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Inside, the gamer can get comfortable with all of her movements in a safe, warm, and fuzzy environment. Much better than trying to figure them out as the world's crashing in around you. 
Tomb Raider has been compared to a number of games out on the market, most notably Capcom's Resident Evil. Both titles share similar camera angles, 3D environments, and a unique blend of action, strategy, and adventure. But Raider surpasses Resident Evil in many categories. First, unlike Evil's pre-model corridors, Tomb Raider's world is modeled completely on the fly, making the gameplay non-linear and allowing the player to go anywhere he or she chooses at any time. Plus, Lauren's animation is much more fluid than the stiff and bulky characters in Capcom's horror classic, an element the designers at Eidos paid specific attention to. Another game Tomb Raider's been compared to is Super Mario 64, which is high praise considering Raider is only a 32-bit game. The comparisons are made because both titles are 3D and non-linear. Both Mario and Laura inhabit huge worlds, and both characters are required to think and solve problems in order to be successful. But the action in Tomb Raider is much more immediate than that of Mario's and definitely more adult. Bottom line, Tomb Raider allowed all of the other platform games a two to three month head start, but now jumps into the race as a winner and could possibly end up beating Mario 64 as the video game of the year. So if you're looking for some hot action from a tough and sexy woman, check out Tomb Raider. It will be worth your while. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. When we come back, we'll talk to the brains behind EA Sports and Dreddy Racing. Buy the powerful Sega Saturn gaming system between now and the end of the year, and we'll give you three of Sega Saturn's top-selling arcade games free. That's Virtua Cop, Daytona USA, and Virtua Fighter 2. $189 worth of games, absolutely free. So hurry, luck like this just won't last. If you love video games, you need Game Pro Magazine. Each monthly issue is packed full of tips and tactics, reviews, previews, secret codes, hot news, passwords, game-winning strategy guides, advanced game systems, home PC games, plus regular features on sports, role-playing, and fighting games. Call Game Pro's Hot Tips Hotline at 1-900-860-TIPS. Visit Game Pro on the World Wide Web or America Online at keyword Game Pro. Game Pro, the number one multi-platform gaming magazine. Pick one up wherever magazines are sold. Racing fans, strap yourself in and get set for Andretti Racing. EA Sports went all out to capture the adrenaline rush and precision timing of professional auto racing. If you think this is a crack em up freewheeling thrill ride, think again. In Andretti Racing, driving skill is essential for winning. Like real auto racing, if you're not careful, you'll be out in no time. EA picked the brains of the Andretti Racing family, Mario, Michael, and Jeff, to add their insight to the game. Between Michael, Jeff, and myself, I think that we all three we certainly bring on different demographics and, uh, and different uh, times and different styles. And how does Mario compete off the track against his sons? The biggest thing that strikes me is that uh, I can't come close to, uh, to beating these guys, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> In Andretti Racing, the driver has the choice of several camera angles, from bumper to bumper to helmet cam. Drivers have to qualify, hit pit stops, and make carefully calculated turns in order to compete. We're looking for uh, advantage, disadvantage, curbing, how the car reacts. You know, you can incorporate, there's so much you can do, only if you know what is important. In Andretti Racing, the driver has the choice of stock car and indie style of race cars. In stock car racing, the driver can be a bit more reckless, but you still need driving smarts to compete. With the onslaught of racing games this holiday season, Andretti Racing takes the checkered flag. Well, while EA's Andretti Racing may be pretty intense, this game, Formula One by Psygnosis, may be even better. Psygnosis broke down the gameplay of Formula One down into two main categories. The difficult and challenging Grand Prix mode, where track and car conditions are very realistic, and the speedy, action-packed arcade mode, where the gameplay is more energetic and immediate. No other game combines the speed, sound, and feel of Formula One racing like this excellent title from Psygnosis. The speed in which Polygon's fly-by-your-car rivals that of Namco's Classic Ridge Racer. The action whisked by at a brisk 30 frames a second, and the sound is unbelievable. No other sport in the world sounds like real F1 racing, and this game captures it beautifully. You can race as any driver on the circuit with such stars as Michael Schumacher, Gerhard Berger, and Rubens Barrichello, to name a few. 
But what's cool is that each driver's skill level in a game is calculated based upon the racer's real-life racing history. All 17 tracks from the 1995 F1 season were meticulously rendered by the Cygnosis team, paying specific attention to detail. Every turn, grandstand, and building at the Monaco Grand Prix has been placed at the right place at the right time. The beauty of Hockenheim in Germany was rendered perfectly, and the wide open roads of Silverstone in Great Britain were captured to exacting detail. Cygnosis used over 300 polygons to render the car that the gamer uses in the race, and they also used the same poly count for a second car for instances in which two cars are close to each other, battling out neck to neck. As the distance between the cars increases, the poly count drops to around 150, but it's a difference you won't be able to tell. At times, there are over 20 cars on the track at once, and each racer's artificial intelligence matches the typical racing strategies of that computer character's real-life counterpart. So you'll find that some racers are easier to get around than others, and some are more aggressive when trying to take the lead. Cygnosis' decision to avoid typical carbon copy intelligence that applied to all of the racers, and instead giving each racer his own style, takes the game to another level. All of the features in Formula One are outstanding, but probably one of the most entertaining is the ability to replay not one or two, but every single lap of the race, so that you can see just how dominant you were on the track. You can choose between all kinds of camera angles, but probably the most enjoyable is the one modeled after Formula One television coverage, complete with play-by-play -play from the world-renowned announcer, Murray Walker. Cygnosis has garnered a reputation for making great racing games with their other titles, Wipeout and Destruction Derby. Their latest, Formula One, ranks right up there with them with a mix of realism and great gameplay. Lock yourself in and get ready for Metal Mayhem at its best. Twisted Metal 2 World Tour for the Sony PlayStation is here. Twisted Metal 2 combines the high-speed intensity of auto racing with the kill or be killed thrill of battle. Now you can create havoc all over the world, from the earthquake ruins of L.A., through the streets of Hong Kong, high atop the skyscrapers of New York, on the frozen tundra of Antarctica, across the infernal laden fields of South America, or trash the city of Gay Paris. Each arena offers a different challenge and a completely different battle strategy. And if you're not careful, you'll be history in no time. In Twisted Metal 2, you have the choice of a variety of killer cars, from a road warrior assault vehicle, to a slam em up front loader, to a high-flying race car who sends opponents hurling in a tornado-like death spin. And if you're into total annihilation, check out Axel, a half-human, half-vehicle psychotic maniac who creates utter chaos wherever he goes. One cool thing about Twisted Metal 2, you can even program killer combo moves such as Freeze and Destroy, which will drive your opponents nuts. Each vehicle has its own special type of weaponry, and some cars are easier to handle than others. With a little practice, you'll be pulling off killer hairpin turns with ease, but no matter which vehicle you choose, the gameplay is just as fierce and intense. As you battle your opponents, various types of weapons are readily available and can also be found in buildings, cars, and other hidden areas. Don't worry if you pick off a few pedestrians along the way. It just adds to the chaotic frenzy. But one note, as you drive, be careful not to crack up your car too much. It'll suck life out of your vehicle and make you much more vulnerable. In Twisted Metal 2, you can take on a friend in challenge mode, or if you're feeling gutsy, take on up to six crazed killers at once. Defeat all six and move on to the next level. Combine the two and the action really heats up. If you're into bone crunching, shoot em up total annihilation blitzkrieg, combined with the high speed adrenaline rush of racing, Twisted Metal 2 by Single Track should be on your Christmas list. Alright, we go from one game of mass destruction to another. Cygnosis is back with Destruction Derby 2. In Derby 2, there are three different modes of play. In Wrecking Racing, the goal is to both finish a set number of tracks and to inflict as much damage as possible on any and everything with wheels. The stock car racing mode is another matter altogether. No points are given for the havoc you create for the other drivers. Your goal is to simply win the race. And then, there is the infamous Destruction Derby, a mode described by Cygnosis as total car carnage. The graphics in DD2 have beefed up a bit, and the animation is just as realistic and fatal as the first installment. But the controls are a little hypersensitive in places, and will take some getting used to, especially in the race modes. You'll also have to get used to the Destruction Derby mode. 
20 cars enter and the winner is the last car rolling. It's supposed to be every driver for himself, but it's obvious that that's not the case. You're the white card, and as you can tell, you don't have a single friend in the match. Surviving longer than 10 cars is a stiff challenge. Hanging on longer than 19 is almost impossible. In all, there are four destruction bowls and seven racetracks in the game, and Cygnosis did a great job of getting the cars in the game to obey the real-life laws of crash physics. But after a while, the game can get pretty repetitive. But if you enjoy Destruction Derby 1, you'll enjoy Derby 2. The premise is the same, destroy or be destroyed. Stay with us, NHL 97 is next. With Sega Sports NFL 97, you can design over 3 billion different plays, just like a real offensive coordinator, and run them with any team in the NFL. Right on one! Banana split, 32 breeze on one! Okie from a skunky trap! Hose, five! No! Make that four! Sega Sports NFL 97. video game. ASC Games and GamePro brings you the ultimate perfect weapon sweepstakes. Go online to GamePro.com. Enter the ASC Games ultimate perfect weapon sweepstakes. ASC will fly one grand prize winner to Toronto, Canada, where they will be digitized into the next version of Perfect Weapon. Leather prizes, Perfect Weapon leather jackets, and of course the ultimate game, Perfect Weapon. Prizes totaling over $50,000. You gotta go online to win. All entries must be received on December 31st. When I was young, I discovered music and practiced to become a musician. Later, I joined the Navy and became an officer and learned about discipline and teamwork and doing your best. Then playing pro ball, the dream of a lifetime. These are the things I love. These are my choices. But none of them would have come true if I hadn't made an important decision a long time ago. I don't do drugs. That's what's worked for me. Think about it. Celebrate GamePro's 100th anniversary and earn your chance to win big in the GamePro 100th Issue Super Prize Giveaway. On sale wherever magazines are sold mid-December. Earlier, we reviewed Edo's Interactive's awesome new game, Tomb Raider. A pretty tough game. Well, we're going to make it a little easier on you. For the Sony PlayStation, go to your inventory screen and hit L1, Triangle, R2, L2, L2, R2. Circle and L1 and Laura will add a few more weapons to her arsenal. Two Uzis, two Magnums, and a shotgun that takes no prisoners. Again, go to your inventory screen and hit L1, Triangle, R2, L2, L2, R2, Circle, and L1. Now, if you've got Tomb Raider on the Sega Saturn and can't seem to get off the first few stages, we've got a gift for you as well. Just go to the exit page in your passport and hit Z, Y, Z, Y, X, X, X. Then the Start button, and you can skip to any level in the game, including the final one. Again, go to the exit page on your passport and hit Z, Y, Z, Y, X, X, X. Then the Start button. Enjoy! Now let's take a look at what's new from EA Sports. Just in time for the holidays, NBA Live 97 from EA Sports hits the courts, hoping to capture the NBA title from the other NBA action games on the market. In NBA Live 97 for the Sony PlayStation, all 29 teams are represented with some of the most intense in-your-face slam jamming NBA action found anywhere in a game today. Utilizing 3D motion capture, Mitch Richmond of the Sacramento Kings suits up to add his own personal playing style to NBA Live 97. So when we're bringing in a top NBA player like Mitch, you can really see the, the extra just, you know, finesse that he has on all of the moves and the way he spins, the way he lets go of the ball at the end, everything. And that's can translate into the game so that the user is just going to be able to have that much more of an accurate NBA feel. We play a lot on our team playing, you know, we just play throughout. You know, whoever lose, get off the game, and the other guy comes on. So we have tournaments, too, so it's very fun. In NBA Live 97, more than 50 offensive plays are offered, and each player plays up to his real-life abilities. Shaquille O'Neal! 
when you're gonna be playing this game in the, come Christmas time, you know, you open up on Christmas morning, pull this out, you go up there and you do, you know, some of those fadeaway jumpers, and you, you, it's gonna blow you away. If you're looking for realistic, heart-pounded NBA action, you gotta check out NBA Live 97 from EA Sports. Without a doubt, it takes home the title. Hockey fans, the action really heats up this winter with EA Sports NHL 97. Like Mad 97, EA went all out to capture the high intense, in your face, last minute thrills and spills of NHL hockey. All 26 teams are represented each with their own respected arenas. You also have the choice of the East West All Stars. And like other sports games, you can make trades and create players. Before each contest, the starting lineups are introduced. Due to the active trading this year, some players still may be on their old teams, but you gotta give the developers a break. It takes at least a year to create a game such as NHL 97. Each game is introduced Welcome by hockey analyst John Davidson. I'm John Davidson and we have a great matchup here tonight. And he provides commentary throughout the period intermissions. Neither team has really seized the momentum and taken control of the game. In NHL 97, the player has the option of viewing the game from nine different camera angles, including helmet cam. This view may really suck the player into the action, but unless you're an experienced player, it's almost impossible to follow the puck. These various camera angles can also be applied to instant replays, where you can focus on a specific area and a specific player so you won't miss one bit of the action. At first, stick handling can be tricky, and just trying to control the puck can take some time. But with some practice, once you get used to the speed, you'll be drop passing, hitting one-timers, shooting slap shots, nailing your opponents into the boards, or checking in no time. The player also has the choice of controlling his own goalie, or auto goaltending. And line changes act the same way. Like real hockey, if one line has been on the ice for a while, the players will grow tired, and it will be time to bring in a fresh line. Penalties are quickly awarded for sloppy play and cheap shots, so if you're not careful, you could be down one or two players in no time. EA's NHL 97 offers excellent graphics, intense gameplay, and brings the feel and excitement of in-your-face hockey right into your living room. Now, let's take a look at GamePro TV's top 10 video games of the month. Stay with us, GamePro TV will be right back. Foundation, championing women in sports. Call and see how far you can go. Well, that's it for this show. Next month, we'll recap the best games of 1996 and look ahead to what's new in 1997. Plus, we'll give tips and hints in our SWAT Pro segment. That's next month, but until then, play on! Sports Channel.